The new F-Type is the latest model in a long line of Jaguar sports cars. You can cruise on a long journey, comfortably, refined, and with the flick of a couple of switches, it can be an agile, engaging sports car that you can enjoy on your favorite B-Road. Today, the new F-Type is built in Jaguar's sports car facility at the historic Castle Bromwich plant in the Midlands. A total of 500 people will be involved in the building of each car to be sold around the world. The car we'll follow is being made for a customer who wants a top-range Jaguar specification. Total cost, just under £80,000. The heart of the operation is the assembly line where 200 people work. Here, all of the elements of the car, from the engine and seats to painted bodies, arrive from around the 112-acre site, and finished cars leave after 50 hours. In one half of the Jaguar sports car facility main building, pressed panel components are delivered to begin assembly. We'll have panels from our own press shop, the buyer press shops around the Midlands. This is the beginning of the car, the chassis is starting to come together. The chassis of our F-Type will be built from aluminium, a material that Jaguar have championed in the car industry. We were probably one of the, the first to get into aluminium. It's very tricky, a lot more challenging than building with steel. The advantage is of uh, stiffness, of uh, weight for a sports car to no brainer. Work at this site has a long history with aluminium, with skills refined from the days of making aircraft for the Second World War. But this lightweight metal is also the perfect material for our sports car. The car's made out of aluminium and we are the leaders, let's say, in producing cars in aluminium. We've got a very good relationship with the stamping team that, that create these beautiful forms. The choice of aluminium allows us to design and develop the car with a very strong and stiff structure while trying to keep the weight down. That way we can deliver a car that's responsive as well as very refined, which is an expectation of a Jaguar. Aluminium has its amazing lightweight properties. In terms of power to weight ratio, it's important for a sports car. So aluminium is what we, what we chose for, for the F-Type. While aluminium may have ideal properties for use in a sports car, it presents challenges too. Aluminium always wants to return to being a flat sheet again. So we have to have very high quality stampings to create a car like the F-Type, to retain its form, to have this beautiful, subtle sculpture, because the cars are very sculptural. When designing a sports car, delivering power to all four wheels needs to be done with style. And for the F-Type, that means the car needs to feel agile and responsive, but it also must feel really intuitive. There should be no guessing as part of driving the car. It should all feel very instinctive, so that when you drive the car, you feel completely at one with it. Modern sports cars combine engineering and electronics to harness the highest performances. We have an advanced all-wheel drive system, which comes with intelligent driveline dynamics, or IDD as we call it. This allows us to control the torque distribution, front to rear, and also left to right of the vehicle to make sure that we have the optimized traction. Traditionally, sports cars have always been two-wheel drive. For the purist, the rear-wheel drive allows the front to focus on the steering and for the rear to do the driving uh, of the car. But in our F-Type, electronics ensure that all-wheel drive is achieved without compromise. If you take steering feel, for an example, the, the software that lets us tune how that feels is incredibly complicated. So through multiple development drives, we'll zone in on where we're trying to get to with that particular attribute. The Jaguar name has adorned cars since 1935, and today their latest models are designed at the company's headquarters at Gaydon in the UK. So it's very important to be instantly recognisable as a Jaguar, and Jaguars have a, an incredible pedigree, if you like, bloodline, but we respect it, but we're not held back by it. But there are some key principles and philosophies that go throughout time. All the cars that we design, we want them to live on forever, if you like, and always be very, very desirable and attractive. Designing a new car takes years. And work began on the F-Type we see today at the start of the millennium. What we like to talk about, first of all, is the proportions of the car. As a long-awaited successor to the classic E-Type, the stakes were always high when designing the F-Type. When we're sketching the cars, we always sketch the side view and try and get those elements in the correct place. As a car designer, that is one of the most important things to, to establish. 
Once you've got the proportions and the stance right and the volume of the car, as we call it, you're basically halfway there in terms of the design. Creating a new car takes years, especially when working with a manufacturer with racing heritage. Jaguars have quite a, a slim, low cabin on a very strong, athletic body. Talk about where the wheels are positioned, and then we work the overhangs, which is basically the, the part in front of the, the front wheel, the sort of bumper length and the rear bumper length. It's all about getting that lovely balance of the side view of the design. Through scale models to digital design. I love how you've got this calligraphy brush stroke line for the, for the J signature. I think that'll really show up well on the road. Every millimeter of the exterior is put under the microscope. Surfaces, and when I say surfaces, what I'm talking about is imagine that metal just being stretched over a shape. And it's a very pure design in terms of its minimal lines. We always try and make the cars look like they're moving when they're standing still. But 21st century design has to respect practicality and efficiency, even for a sports car. It does have a tailgate. And this panel here is actually a deployable spoiler, which is very important for the aerodynamics of the vehicle. The rear ends of the, of the F-Type is one of the lovely aspects of the, of the car. And a lot of people, it's the, it's the main thing that they see as it goes uh, overtaking them. One of the key characteristics of any sports car is the sound it makes, and our F-Type's voice is no exception. The other element of it is the noise, which of course is uh, extremely characterful in the F-Type and a kind of key selling point of the car. The, the sound is very much engineered using sound labs where we put the car in anechoic chambers, to ensure that we get the best possible sound out of the engine and while removing all the unwanted noises from the engine at the same time. So that makes it a much more enjoyable experience. But our car has had elocution lessons too, ensuring that your neighbours don't get a rude awakening before breakfast. We also offer a switchable active exhaust system which allows the customer to uh, start the car early in the morning, more quietly, more subtly, which really gives that duality of character. And of course, if they choose to, they can override that and start with all the crackles and pops that goes with the F-Type character. It's one thing getting a really desirable design, but it's another thing getting it into production. It's an honour and a privilege to be able to put those factors into actually designing highly desirable cars that, that customers love. For me, the ultimate buzz is seeing that idea go from concept through to production and then out in the world where a customer's enjoying it. There's a lot of hard work and skill expertise goes into building these cars. You've seen that throughout the programme. When you finally see them coming off that customer acceptance line, I think it's a sense of pride for me.